So now I'll be talking about a uh, path planning technique based on uh, meta heuristic search methods. Uh, it's a project that I did during my undergraduate. I hope you like it. So meta heuristic search algorithms are computation methods that uh, improve a candidate solution iteratively uh, with respect to a search problem. Uh, so this th th type of uh, technique has two features. One is always the search algorithm, and there are uh, many variants like the I IWO PSO. Um, D is differential evolution, IWO is inversive speed optimization, PSO is particle sound prevention, and so on. There are many such variants, and they do their job with the help of a cost function. Um, the cost function is problem dependent, and it characterizes the search space uh, in terms of which places in the search space are uh, more optimal than others. And the job of the search algorithm is to find a minima in the search space with respect to this cost function. So the minima will, will give a solution uh, to the search problem, and the quality of the solution will depend on the cost function, which uh, also depends on how much we actually know about the environment. So let's take, a take, take an example of uh, the trajectory planning of a uh, hypothetical robotic arm. Um, the arm has two degrees of freedom theta, which is the shoulder angle, and pi, which is the elbow angle, and the task of the planner is to move from an initial orientation of theta and phi to a final orientation of theta and phi. And for this design problem, we consider two uh, basic issues. One is obstacle avoidance, and the second is uh, minimum energy criteria. Uh, we could also have minimized time or minimized path constraints, but we chose energy because uh, this is a practical scenario. So uh, we tackle the problem in two states. Uh, first, we search for wire points. These are points in between uh, the initial state and the final state through which the uh, arm can go uh, while successfully negotiating the obstacle. And the and we uh, we avoid the obstacles based on this model of the arm. The arm has sensors along its length, as shown here by the red dots, and this can sense obstacles up to length R1, while the obstacles are modeled by spheres, which has a radius R2. So we are trying to uh, keep a distance of R1, R1 plus R2 from the arm to the obstacle center. So this is the cost function designed by us. Uh, we have four terms here. The first two terms um, actually uh, make the arm go to the final orientation which is given by theta f and pi f so by minimizing these two terms we make the current angle theta to move to theta f and pi to move to phi f these two are penalties and uh, the fourth term gives a penalty when uh, useless solutions are uh, proposed by the optimizer and angles are out of bounds while this penalty term is due to the obstacles when xij the distance between the obstacles is large then this exponential term uh, is very small and there is no penalty and which means we have a good solution while if the distance term is very small then the penalty is large and the optimizer has to look for better solutions so by minimizing this f we find out wire points by generating suitable delta theta and delta phi's and a set of these wire points give the final solution so now once we have these uh, wire points, we can now optimize for the energy. Uh, in between two wire points, we uh, fix the trajectory by considering third order polynomials like this. Um, uh, these are polyno polynomials in time, and each of these has four uh, parameters. The first three parameters are determined by a set of boundary conditions, and the last one is determined by the energy uh, optimal criteria. So. Uh, the boundary conditions are given in terms of the location, velocity, and accelerations of at various points. Now, the the continuity of uh, location is of course a necessity, while the continuity of velocity and acceleration is uh, desired because they will, this will ensure that there is no jerking motion. The final uh, uh, parameters of A3 and B3 are determined from this equation, which is the integration of the energy given by this equation over a time. Uh, time interval. Uh, this integration is done with Simpson's rule and we have a uh, function in A3 and B3 and by minimizing against this function we can generate 
the whole directory. So now that we have the directory, let's run it. So this is the case uh, without the obstacles, it's a trivial case starting from an initial orientation of 00, 0 to a final orientation of uh, 9090. And as you can see, uh, the arc arm moves straight from the initial path to the final path. So let's move on. And this is the case with the obstacles. Now notice here, uh, we are again starting from 00, zero and the goal is at 9090, given by the green dot. Near the obstacle, the arm turns to bend away. Initially down was uh, coming from the previous path and then you know, the obstacle bends away until it has successfully negotiated the path and then again it follows the original path. So let's wait till it reaches the goal. So there's success. So this is the uh, path that is proposed by our planner. So let's look at the theta and five directories. Uh, the theta, uh, there is no obstacle in the path of the three to theta. That is how we placed it. So this uh, blue blue curve will also be the curve of phi when we have no obstacle. But when we have an obstacle uh, in theta phi space in this region, then phi bends away and finally reaches 90 through this path. Let's look at the minimum distance to obstacles. And here give, uh, the threshold is given by this red line. And we can see how uh, near this red, red line the distance of the obstacles bends away. And there is no crossing here, so we have successfully negotiated all the obstacles here. Uh, while in this uh, in this plot, we have uh, removed the uh, penalty term from the from the cost function, and we see that the distance to the obstacles has gone beyond the threshold, which means collision. So in conclusion, we have just built a trajectory planner using a meta heuristic search algorithm over continuous space and the application of such methods is quite general and is limited only by our knowledge of the environment and hence the design of the cost function. So in the, this pa uh, paper in particular is taken from uh, this presentation, you can check it out if you want to. And uh, here are two more references, uh, the first one is a, a multi-robot path planning algorithm and the second one is a multi-robot box uh, algorithm. Both of these are uh, developed using meta heuristics, so if you're interested in these methods, uh, you can check this out. So, thank you.